Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to talk about Gamma Rudolf, a German chemist and Holocaust denier. Gamma Rudolf was born on October 29, 1964, in Limburg, Germany. He studied chemistry at the University of Bonn, where he completed his PhD in 1993. After completing his studies, Gamma Rudolf became interested in revisionist history and the Holocaust. He began to publish articles and books denying the existence of the gas chambers and the systematic extermination of Jews during World War II. In 1996, he published his first book, The Rudolph Report, which claimed that the gas chambers at Auschwitz were a fabrication. Gamma Rudolph's writings and views have been widely criticized by historians and academics. His work has been debunked as false and inaccurate, and his claims have been dismissed as propaganda. Despite this, he continues to promote his revisionist ideas through his website and public appearances. In 1999, Gamma Rudolph was sentenced to 14 months in prison by a German court for inciting racial hatred. He had distributed literature that denied the Holocaust and glorified Nazi ideology. In 2005, he was extradited to Germany from the United States and sentenced to another 30 months in prison for Holocaust denial and incitement of racial hatred. Despite his imprisonment, Gamma Rudolf continues to promote his revisionist views. He has written several books, including lectures on the Holocaust and Resistance is Obligatory, which argue that the Holocaust is a myth created by Jewish propaganda. Many people view Gamma Rudolf's views as dangerous and hateful. Holocaust denial is a criminal offense in several countries, including Germany, France, and Austria. It is viewed as a form of hate speech that promotes anti-Semitism and undermines the memory of the millions of people who died in the Holocaust. In conclusion, Gamma Rudolph is a controversial figure who has gained notoriety for his denial of the Holocaust. His views have been widely discredited by historians and academics, and he has been convicted of inciting racial hatred and Holocaust denial. While he continues to promote his revisionist ideas, it is important to remember the millions of lives that were lost during the Holocaust and to reject any attempts to deny or minimize this tragedy. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video.